Welcome to the video E420, permutations and combinations. In a nutshell, for permutations, order is important. For combinations, order is not important. Okay? So for example, permutations, if I'm going to line people up, it depends on, ooh, if you're first or last, it's much different. Combinations, I'm going to pick five people to be on a committee. Either you're on the committee or you're not. It doesn't matter about order. Also for combinations, I'm going to pick the five starters for a basketball game. Either you're a starter or you're not a starter. It's not, ha ha, he picked me first. Okay, so here we go. Example one. We want to choose two letters without replacement from the letters A, B, C, and D. All right? And on the left side, order will matter. And on the right side, order does not matter. If order matters, it's a permutation. If order does not matter, it's a combination. And I'll have you solve this problem three ways. Making a list and counting, doing some math, and then pressing buttons on a calculator or using the Desmos calculator. All right, so here we go. Let's make a list. All right, since I'm choosing two letters, um, I'm just going to say, let's be organized. I could go um, A, B, or A, C, or A, D, or I could go B, A, B, C, B, D. Or I could go CA, CB, CD, or I could go DA, DB, and DC. I try to do it methodically in um, alphabetical priority uh, order. So these are all different arrangements. I count them up and I get a total of 12. All right. Well, it might not always be convenient to do that, so let's now do it mathematically. All right, let's use some math. I'm choosing two letters, so let's have two blanks. The first letter and the second letter. How many different letters can go first? One, two, three, any four of them. Now, once I pick a letter to go first, he can't then go second. So how many letters remain? Three. So any three letters can go there. What's four times three? Twelve. The same exact answer I got from the list. Um, I'm going to show you the calculator uh, afterwards, but just to let you know, this is a permutation. So this first number uh, is the total number And the second number is the group size. So out of four total letters, let's arrange them in order in a grouping size of two. And I'll show you how to do that later. Okay, so that's all of the permutation. Now let's do part B, the combination. Okay, so how many ways if order does not matter? In other words, A, B, and BA are really the same thing. They're on the committee of letters, if you will. All right, so let's make a list. Now, for this list, I like to say, let's pay it forward. That avoids duplicating previous things. So I'll show you what that means. A, pay it forward, B. A, pay it forward, C. A, pay it forward, D. Now let's start with the letter B, but let's not go B, A, because I essentially have that. Let's pay it forward and go B, C. B, pay it forward, D. All right, next, let's start with the letter C. Don't go C, A, I've got that. Don't go C, B, I've got that. Pay it forward to C, D. And then D doesn't have anybody to pay it forward. D would be like DA, you know, I've already got all that stuff. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And just to show you how that worked out, essentially over here, ooh, I got rid of BA, it was the same. Um, I got rid of CA, it was the same. Uh, I got rid of CB, it was the same. Uh, I got rid of DA there. I got rid of DB there. And I got rid of DC there. So you could see that's how that list got generated. Okay, now let's do some math. Okay, so we haven't done this before. So a combination is just like a permutation, except there's not that ordering. There's fewer things. So what I'm going to do for this um, math over here is I'm going to start off the same as a permutation, but I'm going to try to get rid of that ordering. And what we do is we divide by the factorial of the number of group size. So I'll show you. So for the math, I'm going to start out with the 4 times 3, just like I had over here. But now I'm going to divide, since I've got two slots, I'm going to divide by two factorial. And what that does is it um, uh, avoids the duplication. All right, so if I do that math, I get 12, 2 factorial, 2 times 1 is 2, and I get 6 which again is the same exact answer I got from the list. And then when we do uh, the decimals calculator, instead of going um, 4P2, I'm going to go 4C2, uh, 4C2. And again, this 4 is the total number of objects, and this 2 is the group size. Um, and again, for much of what you do on the Alex homework, you can simply just use these formulas. I just want to show you where they, where they came from. Okay, I'm going to show you how to use desmos.com uh, slash scientific to find out um, permutations and combinations. So the first problem was a permutation. So uh, what you want to do is hit function and then look for the NPR button. And then the way it uh, works is uh, you're going to put both numbers in parentheses separated by a comma. So the total objects was 4. We go to main and we hit 4. Then we hit comma. And then uh, it was an arrangement size of 2. And you can see the answer is 12 right over there. Okay, now what we want to do is a combination. So if you wanted to, you could clear all that. Go back to function, go to NCR, and again, same thing. We're going to go back to main. Uh, out of four objects, we're choosing two, and then comma, and then two, and you can see the answer is six right there. So there you have it, how to evaluate permutations and combinations.